Step one. To charge batteries. Classic. Hit those things. Also classic, it did not last very long. Huh? Oh, come on. We're charged. One thing that having a kid, when you're teaching someone practically how the whole world works, it makes you question a lot about little things that you just took for granted. Like right now, am I cleaning out the microwave or am I cleaning up? Am I cleaning up the microwave or cleaning out the microwave? Do we put the rags in a pile or on a pile? They go in the drawer, but are they in a pile? Do we sit on a chair or do we sit in a chair? Like you second guess and you question everything, even the prepositions. You wanna press that button? She's also gonna be repeating all the wrong words I use, all my bad habits. We have it open, now we close it. Oh! Very good. When I feel like I'm not a very effective or efficient adult, I just empty the dishwasher with Imogen. She's terrible at it. Oh, we're closing the dishwasher again? I'm much better at dishwashering. Okay, there we go. We emptied the dishwasher. Now we have to put all the dishes that we've accumulated back in oh. and there's the phone again so we empty the dishwasher and then all these dishes accumulate and we put them in the dishwasher again that's the cycle this is dirty and we put it in here and then it will be clean very good very good wherever you want huh? Huh. well sure enough you know what? i'm gonna put this up so this will wear Imogen, that, uh, yeah, that is like, this is like textbook that you don't get to play with. There's your snack. Bad day. Oh, man. Doing it right this time. Real quick, PSA on how to cut a mango. I already peeled it. You see it's kind of oblong, so find the long direction and what you're doing is you're cutting off the cheeks so there's one cheek here are two cheeks put those aside and then what I do is just shave off the extra parts around the pit and it is a slippery little demon knife scrape also probably not good but my knife skills are there you go so that's the, that's the pit and you just want to cut around that. What's this? What's this? We just need to change your diaper and then we can... This, this is how Imogen hides. In the theme of being fully aware, uh, the story of Sisyphus comes to mind. You know, Sisyphus is the one that pushes the boulder up the hill just to watch it roll back down and pushes it back up. You know, now that I'm teaching uh, my daughter about how the world works, I'm hyper aware of not only just the words I use, but the actions that we do over and over again. And she's watching us empty and fill and empty and fill the dishwasher every day. There's gotta be a more efficient way. I hate, I hate jobs that make me feel like Sisyphus. Cleaning, any cleaning. I was gonna say the dishwasher, but mowing the lawn. I hate mowing the lawn shoveling the driveway. Those are the big three things that make me grumpy. Just super grumpy. <sighs> Pushing the rock up the hill. Where was I? What is that for, what is that for light? Why do we avoid taking photos at noon? Because you get like your nose catching all the light. 
Uh, it's not very becoming, but see that? Oh, that's much nicer. A little overexposed. I'm like squatting right now. This is my CrossFit. Let me talk about CrossFit for a while. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. No offense to CrossFit. I mean, there's people I love that do CrossFit. Just wanted to make a light casual joke. The stereotype is that it's like vegans too. If you're a vegan, you always talk about how you're a vegan or if you're a cross. These are just stereotypes. I mean, well, just jokes, light jokes. Don't send me hate mail. Who sends mail? Hate mail? What the? Hate comments? I just had this thought. What if uh, people sent troll comments via USPS? Some hipster kid, you know, dear sirs or to whom it may concern. Uh, what other troll things he say? I don't know. Uh, I, I wish I knew more troll comments right now. If someone wants to take this joke and run with it, it's yours. I can't finish this joke. I started charging a battery earlier. It's for this beast. This is the Kodak SLR in, and let me tell you about it in a little bit. For comparison's sake, let do Nikon D750, 235 millimeter lens. So Nikon D750, Kodak SLR N. Ah, and it just keeps flashing. I do not miss this camera now. Can't get the battery out. I have to get a screwdriver or something. Okay, come on. Guess I was prying the wrong thing. Um, and I have an old camera I wanted to show you, and I really wanted to talk about ISO, and I only got up to the point of talking about battery life. I don't, I don't know why I did not mean to talk about, uh, but I did talk about battery life. I don't think I'm going to spend more time getting footage. Um, during the edit, I can piece it all together, and maybe I'm not sure how this one's going to end because the story for today blown out. I do not, I do not know how the narrative of today is going to weave. It will be choppy. I'm learning. This is a photo booth, kind of. I just got off the phone with Lisa, and we just had a change of plans. We're going to Chicago tomorrow. I have a photo booth for Saturday, which means I want to have everything ready to go for Saturday ahead of time. For now, I need uh, to get a couple other things in order so that we can be gone tomorrow. I, I don't know if I'm going to finish up on this little uh, explanation of the cameras or not. To be continued. As good of a time as any for a quick shameless plug for our photo booth. What I like about it, full res, 36 megapixel, raw, professional lighting. Uh, check out, um, I have a video or I have a post on Walk at Imaging about how we recently used it for some family photos and made a book. The possibilities with this photo booth are pretty much endless. It's really just a professional camera and then we have professional people light. And then you just snap and have fun. Uh, feel like they can just loosen up and have fun. It's family events, uh, graduation party. If you have a lot of people you care about in one place, it's a great time for a photo booth. Have a lot of people remember something, it's a great time for a photo booth. Your store or an event, it's a great time, it's a great time for a photo booth. I've seen prints from this photo booth on fridges that are like 10. The fridges are maybe more than 10 years old. I don't know how old the fridges are. Honestly, I don't know how old the fridge is, but the photos on the fridge uh, are at least 10, 12 years old. It's a great time for a photo booth. This is not even a shameless plug anymore. This is still a shameless plug. I'm not shameful about this full on advertisement for the photo booth. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit of shame now. I'll edit this and make it less shameful. It's a great time for a photo booth. Test the printer and load it up. This printer weighs, honestly, a ton. Okay, not honestly a ton. I was overdoing it. I can lift it all day, not that week. We'll do a full run through of the photo booth and then I pack it up in the van where I will take it to the event on Saturday. Do a little video footage of the photo booth in action. A little video footage. That's stupid. Oh, we go. Odd story, I got a sliver loading the photo booth into my van. Not from the photo booth, but from the van, which is, that's the long story. Someday I'm gonna tell you about my van. Its failures, I feel, are analogous to my life. It's so I got a, a sliver, and you know like the big fat Greek wedding where the dad fixes everything with, um, what does he fix it with? He fixes everything with Windex. My mom fixes everything with this, what we call white tape. First aid, waterproof, adhesive tape. We call it white tape. 
So I'm just going to wrap that thing up with white tape and good. But my mom will put white tape on anything. White tape fixes everything. White tape. I got half the sliver out and the rest of it's still in there. That white tape did not work at all. I broke a wheel maybe two years ago. Had to finish the lawn that same day. So I just made this and it's lasted like two years right now. I've replaced the battery on this thing. It's still going strong. I'm mowing the lawn. You get the idea. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we had Dutch dance going on. Tulip time starts next week, and uh, we should have the lawn looking kind of nice because we're going to be gone tomorrow. So I'm trying to make things look proper and prim. emulating what they do for Dutch dance. Going inside, Migs? We say love you. Love you too. And I gotta finish mowing the lawn like Sisyphus. Did you tell Dad what you thought of Dutch dancing? Did you give him a thumbs up? I wanted her to tell me what she thought of Sisyphus. why we can't have nice things. If this blogging has done one thing for me, it has helped me realize how stupid I sound. Eh. You know what? I'm not scared. Fine.